have higher sensitivity to carbs. I'm really sad about it because I love my noodles and my rice. My tendency for mosquito bites is higher. Which is so true because I always get bitten. I have actually 5% of Japanese and Korean. I told everybody like, okay, you know, this weekend is just gonna be my time. Nobody needs to feel offended.
hope everybody is well. Just a little life update. I have been busy traveling recently. Not complaining. Been having a fair bit of fun just before October, like before the year end, because it's gonna be super hectic. We are preparing for a lot of activities for the year end. Christmas is coming. Oh my god. It's so crazy how time flies. I feel like this is it just me or this year just passes so quickly. I'm not too sure about you guys. Let me know what you think. So I've been having this problem. Well, aside of having fun and things have been great, I am having this problem where I have been getting like rashes on my neck and it has recently spread through my hands and I'm suspecting that I might have hives. I'm not too sure what is it. I've not seen a doctor yet, but I do believe it's probably allergies. It's either to dust or food. I've never had food allergies. I'm actually pretty strong when it comes to like allergies. I never suffer from any allergies but what I've learned that as you grow older you might develop certain allergies that you have never had before. I'm thinking if I should go get an allergy test but then apparently if you get yourself tested you will stop eating a lot of things because then you find out like how many food that you can't eat or you know like just a bunch of things and you become really wary and careful. So I'm just like mm. so Circle DNA sent me a DNA collection kit and apparently you can also trace like certain allergies that you have based on your DNA. It's 99.9 .9 analytical accuracy. Besides of diet reports, your nutrition reports, oh there's also skin reports. There are a lot of other things and it's actually very very interesting. There's like family planning, behavioral traits, personality traits. Oh, I didn't know that you can actually see your personality traits through your DNA. That's very interesting to me as well. I think I'm very interested in finding out my ancestry. I've not done this before, but I've seen a lot of people doing it and it looks very interesting. So this is a DNA collection kit. The first step is I will have to register the kit via an app. I have to download this app by scanning the QR. So I've registered, I'm gonna fill in some details. Before I activate my kit, I will have to collect my sample. So this is how it looks like. There is a bottle here, a little container. And this is the swab. Here are some instructions. First, move the swab. Oh, there's like a red mark here that basically you have to break it and then close the lid and the next thing I have to do is activate my kit after I've activated my kit there is an instruction to actually return the sample so that it can process it so you can either choose a pickup from FedEx or you can drop it off I think I'll probably schedule a pickup and I'm gonna include this kit inside. Apparently it takes about 18 days to process and then my results will be out. I feel like one thing about DNA that's very intriguing is that you know you can trace down the history of your, like your ancestry. Okay the sample's done. I have inserted into the return bag. There's a bag here so this is the return back from FedEx. My DNA results are back! I'm so excited to go through this with you guys. It's so crazy. This report has so many different categories. It is so detailed. Like I sort of screened through and went through it once and I laughed at some of it because it's so true. Basically it elaborated everything from A to Z and um, I want to go through everything with you but it's really long because it's very detailed so I'll just pick like five categories which what I'm interested in is my behavioral traits, my nutrition, fitness, ancestry, and common health risk. I want to know more about my diet so I can be more mindful of my eating. So far, everything seems fine. I don't really have a lot of sensitivity, but I realize 
I have higher sensitivity to carbs. I'm really sad about it because I love my noodles and my rice. Now I know that if I'm more sensitive to carbs, I can always substitute or I can always have a balanced diet. Yeah, so basically that's that. It's true, um, I'm likely intolerant to lactose, which I have switched um, my milk to like nut milks. I've stopped dairy for a long time, but I still can't resist cheese. I have higher sensitive to spice. My spice tolerance is not very high, unfortunately. I love spicy though. But I'm a super taster. My taste buds are like sensitive, which is great because I love to eat. I have higher preference when it comes to sweet stuff. But for me, I think it's a very disciplined thing. I don't mind them, but I don't crave for it. My nutrition, I have normal needs of everything. It's just my omega which I apparently need to have more omega-3 um, DHA so that's my higher need so we'll take note of that to eat more I guess fish or supplements that contains like DHA next up it's my sports and fitness report I have a higher blood flow my injury risk is average so it's good to know so even if I fall down or whatever I'm less prone to injury endurance capacity is medium my muscle cramps, it's below average. I don't get cramps easily. Recovery efficiency is actually low. It might take longer to recover. Maybe that's why I get tired, like sometimes, like most of the time. But my strength profile is high. So far, sports and fitness, it's pretty accurate. Everything seems very normal. And then there's my well being, very normal. But my tendency for mosquito bites is higher. Which is so true, because I always get bitten all the time, especially like when I travel and I'm like on a surf trip. Oh my god. And I got dengue once, so I'm really paranoid when it comes to like mosquitoes. My stress tolerance, I am a warrior. They say it's like you're a warrior or a neutralist. It's good to know um, that I can take on like a lot of shit. I mean, I can conquer it all. <laughs> Next up, I mean, I said I'm gonna pick five, but I'm literally going through the report with you guys, like the entire thing, because it's so exciting. My ancestry. So I'm 85% of East Asian, Chinese blood, 80% Southern, Northern Han Chinese. It takes up about 50% of it. And Western minority, um, it's almost 20%. I have actually 5% of Japanese and Korean. 13% of Vietnamese and the rest is Indonesian, Thai, Malaysian, Burmese which is only 2% From what I know is that my ancestors are from China in Guangzhou um, That's what my dad told me And I'm Hakka So my dialect is Hakka, Hakka Cantonese And then what I know also is that my great-great-grandfather They are Nyonya heritage So I have a little bit of Nyonya and Baba like blood in me as well very interesting. My skin age is younger. Acne risk is high, which is so true because when I was younger, I had so much acne, like literally my entire forehead. I had like that whole like when going through like puberty. The rest is pretty normal. Behavioral traits. Okay, one thing that I really want to know. I don't really have any addiction, so no alcohol, food addiction, smoking addiction, less likely. Obsessions with cleaning and washing, less likely. Who likes to clean and wash? I am likely competitive or challenging. I guess I am an introvert, extrovert, which I am. I feel like I'm mostly feeding off the energy of the people around me. So sometimes I can be really out there and sometimes I am more timid or shy. It also depends, like I, I have to read the room and I feed off people's energy so I guess I'm just like going with the flow kind of person they even have like intelligent they know your IQ EQ my IQ is just normal but I have excellent EQ my mathematical skills is normal which is I would say below normal but it says normal here but in terms of creativity I am gifted I've always loved things when it comes to creativity I've always loved like music I study music, I love art, I love things that doesn't restrict me. 
like disease risk, um, everything looks normal here. It's amazing that you can also check on your family planning and see if you have any risk when it comes to family planning. You will be more aware and also it's good if your partner also does like a DNA test. So just know that if you guys are positive in any diseases, I know I have thalassemia. So this has been told to me from my doctor before that. I need to find out if I'm a carrier of thalassemia because if I am a carrier and my husband is a carrier, it's a very high risk for our future child. So it's good that they also have family planning in the DNA test so you know and it's good that maybe your other half can do a DNA test to check as well. Yeah, I think this entire summary, I will have to go through it again and again and again and again just because there's so many things and it's so detailed. I really thank Circle DNA for letting me like do this test. Um, if you guys are ever interested, you can also get the kit and there's a promo for you. I'm gonna insert it in the description box. So you get 20% off by using my name um, upon checkout. So it's Bella Kwan. So you're gonna get it for 20% off. Um, yeah, and you can check out the link in the description. Now I feel like I wanna get all my friends to like test it. So like everybody can just tell me their traits. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any questions, you can always just comment down below and I will reply reply to you guys that's about it for now i'm gonna go on with my day and i'll see you guys and catch up soon I just found out the wrap is expired but it looks okay still I'm gonna take a bite and we'll find out <clears throat> mm. this is okay I am going to do a quick unwrapping of these ceramics that I got from Bali. I've been waiting for this moment, but I wanted to do it with you guys, so. I actually exceeded my baggage space, like five kgs. The guy at the counter was really nice to not expose me. I didn't get charged for like extra baggage, so I'm really happy for that. So I got this from a place called Art on the Table. I got two each. For each design. I wanted to get more but I know it's gonna be so heavy to bring back. I gave myself like a limit. The max I can get is only two. And then I got this beautiful blue plate. It's more like a soup plate. I want to get back into cooking a lot more because I feel like I haven't really had a lot of time to myself like recently. I told everybody like okay you know this weekend is just gonna be my time. Nobody needs to feel offended. You know, just like focus on the things I like to do. Cause I feel like I haven't been home and haven't really been enjoying like my space. And I feel so sad because I'm always just like out. But I feel like this year end, um, I'm just gonna keep myself grounded a little bit more and just stay in. Um, I know although it's year end, everyone's out. Everyone's like starting to party and you know like with all the celebrations well I, I know I'm gonna be like really busy but at the same time I want to find that balance to just stay more grounded and focus on what I want to do it's like a soup 
plate. So that's pretty much it. And even like with four, like to bring these back, it does add weight into the baggage. So I was like, oh, I wish I could get more, but yeah, like that's like four, it's like the limit. Second round of taste test. I added more salt, some more herbs. Oh, hot. Mm. And then slowly let it simmer and reduce. 